Hello, I'm Renton Mayor Armando Pavoni. Thank you for joining us virtually this Memorial Day to honor the men and women of the armed forces who gave the ultimate sacrifice while serving our country. For decades, soldiers from right here in Renton and across the nation have given their lives so that others may live freely. With so much going on in the world today, we sometimes become numb to losses. But then as we reflect on their sacrifices, we realize that the actions of our veterans give us the chance to live in this great country. Here in Renton, let's lift each other up as a nation, as a state, as a community to honor our veterans. I want to thank Renton Police Honor Guard Officer Adele O'Rourke, Renton History Museum and local youth. This video combines contributions from them with images from previous in-person programs. We hope that next year we will see you in person at Veterans Memorial Park in downtown Renton. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Two of Renton's most active and well-established military service organizations were named for local men who served bravely in World War I. World War I was the first modern war to require sacrifice from all Renton residents. Private Frank R. Vays and Seaman Fred B. Hancock interrupted their careers and lives to serve bravely. Fred Hancock was a 25-year-old laborer when he joined the Navy in December 1917. On September 5, 1918, the USS Mount Vernon had left the port of Brest, France and was streaming homeward at about 18 knots, with Hancock helping stoke the engines. The sea was smooth and the air was clear. At about 7.45 a.m., as the sailors were changing to watch, the ship was hit on the center bulkhead amidships by a German torpedo. The explosion pushed flames, fumes, coal, and soot from the boiler rooms into the two engine rooms. Thirty-six men were killed instantly, including Seaman Fred B. Hancock. 
His body was returned on the Leviathan. Ten months later, on July 30th, 1919, the Fred Hancock, post 19 of the American Legion, was chartered in Renton with 16 members. Private Frank R. Vase, who had returned from serving in France with the Marines in May 1919, was a charter member. Marine Private Frank R. Vays, the namesake of the Renton Post 1263 of the Veterans of Foreign Wars, VFW, left a successful boxing career to enlist in the U.S. Marine Corps in September 1917 at age 25. Many thought he had joined up before the draft to defend his father's homeland, France. Vays was grievously wounded in the Battle of Belleau Wood and was thought to be missing in action until he turned up in a hospital in Paris a month later with a hip wound. Private Vays was honorably discharged in May 1919 and returned to Renton to try and pick up his boxing career. Unfortunately, he died suddenly of a heart attack in 1925 at the age of 34. VFW Post 1263 was established on December 16, 1933 and named for Frank Frenchy Vays, who had been a BFW member before his death. Learn more about Renton's rich history, exhibits, and programming by visiting the Renton History Museum at 235 Mill Avenue South or at www.rentonwa.gov forward slash Renton History Museum.